Hello everyone, and today I want to bring an updated guide to my favorite smithing weapon. I'm going to be including weapons such as sellables, which are two different ones that you can go ahead and sell. My civilian two-handed sword I use for prison break. Two-handed axe that I use in sieges. My grim reaper, which is my pole arm that I use on the campaign map. And the one that I created lately, which is my infantry pole arm, which I call the Grim Reaper Jr. All of these will be done without any additional perks chosen. So the values that you hear will actually be much higher if you actually have the Artisan Smith perk and you are a Legendary Smith. I will have all of these time stamped so you can go right to the one that you are looking for. First, we have the best XP weapon that you can build if you do not include the Themenskines or Themaskin Steel. This is something that was found out by my friend Hero. I will link his channel as he deals a lot with weapons and smithing, so give him a check out in the description. The parts that you are going to go ahead and use for the blade is going to be the tier four long folks blade. For the guard, the Ridge Western Guard at tier five. For the handle, reinforced jeweled two-handed grip at tier four. And the eagle head pommel. This is the best XP weapon that you can build in the game, which was verified by Hero in the code. So if you're looking for XP, just build this over and over again and smelt them back down and you'll gain the most XP that you can get. Staying in the two-handed category for sellable, I wanted to go with a two-handed sword because that is one of the best ones that you're going to unlock for crafting orders, for XP, also the civilian weapon. So this is the one that I use to sell. It only takes three raw iron, one iron, one fine steel, and one steel. So you might be able to find a little more cost effective, but it uses very low end materials. With no skills at all, this will sell for over 11,000. For the blade, it takes the pointed falcon blade at tier four. For the guard, it takes the tier three thick war sword guard with engravings for the handle the tier four reinforced jeweled two-handed grip and the eagle head pommel at tier five so if you have the artisan smith perk and you're legendary you can get quite a bit more for this however if you want to invest just a little bit more into it you can get one that is worth over 20 thousand to sell that just takes two fine steel a steel and one hardwood so really it's still almost just the cost of a pudgy or throwing dagger if you go ahead and refine up to fine steel you will take the tier five long glaive head for the guard the or flame banner at tier five the tier three short pine shaft and the tier four riveted spear pommel. So this is an amazing one if you have just a bunch of fine steel and steel sitting around that you can make a boatload of money going ahead and selling. This is my civilian two-handed sword that I use in prison breaks. It has 115 reach, which some people don't like to reach. You can go ahead and you can shorten it a little bit if you want but it has 93 swing speed, 121 damage. It is amazing for just a civilian weapon. You're gonna use the tier four knightly arming sword blade, the tier five cusp southern guard, the tier five bolted southern grip two-handed, and the tier five beyond pommel. As I said, you could go ahead and you can adjust this. If maybe you want one just a little bit shorter, you can go ahead and make it so 
it maybe doesn't go ahead and hit as much down to 100 maybe reach. It will lower the damage a bit, but it will make it a little bit faster and you won't suffer that much damage loss. But it is an absolutely amazing weapon to use in a prison break or if you're taking it in a gang alley fight. This is my heartbreaker two-handed axe that I use in sieges. You can also adjust these numbers to where you like them to be at. It has 80 swing speed, which could be a little low for some people, but once you get about 150 into your two-handed, it will swing very, very quickly. The reach is 127 on it, so you can hit them from pretty far away. 132 cut damage. Some people do like to go ahead and use a different grip on this. I personally prefer this one as I think it is a good mix between all the stats. For the blade, I will use the heavy Bardish blade, which is at tier 5. For the handle, the tier 5 hardened oaken two-handed axe handle and the ornamental pommel. It is something that I really love. As in two-handed axes, you can crush through, hit multiple enemies, and you have double shield breaker perks. And that is why I love to use it in sieges. And to my favorite weapon that I love to use, the Grim Reaper two-handed polearm. Now, people are going to instantly notice that it is very slow at 70 swing speed. However, I will caution you that once you become legendary, you can get it up to 74 to 75 swing speed as a legendary weapon. And once you have over about 150 to getting upwards of 200 skill, you will still be able to outswing a lord. The key is to block, then attack. But what sets this apart is the length at 232 or 2.3 meters you're going to be able to stay outside of their swinging distance since most of their weapons are only going to have a reach of around 95 to 115. So you could be twice as far away as the AI and still be able to hit them. And with two perks that you're going to get in the two-handed tree, I have done over 600 damage with this weapon. For the blade, I will use the Tier 4 Bent Razor Head. I'll use a Long Fanyan Banner at Tier 5, the Tier 5 Decorated Long Pine Shaft, but I will not use a Pommel. They don't really seem to give any benefit at all, so that is the only thing that I go ahead and use. With this weapon, once again... If you wanted to, you could go ahead and use a different shaft to make it a little bit faster. But I'm telling you that with high skill, and if you make the right legendary weapon, you're going to have no problem with the swing speed. Don't let that 70 swing speed scare you. Before 100 skill, yes, it might be a bit slow. But once you level it up, you are going to feel like an executioner with the Grim Reaper. And finally, what I had discovered in my infantry live stream is what I call the Grim Reaper Jr. This is an infantry version of the weapon that I used when I was not allowed to ride a horse. It has 90 swing speed, which is fast. So when you get 150 to 200 skill, you are going to swing so fast. It is ridiculous. 128 damage, which is comparable, if not more, than most of the two-handed sword and two-handed axes you're going to find. But what sets this apart is 159 reach. No other two-handed axe, two-handed sword, or hammer in the game is going to get you that reach. So with decent athletic, you can back up and the AI is never going to get close enough to hit you. You're going to swing fast and you are going to do a ton of damage. 
and doing two, three hundred damage on a consistent basis is very likely with this weapon, and it is by far my favorite infantry weapon that I go ahead and use. This is very simple to make. All it takes is the tier four bent razor head and the default pine spear staff. That is it. No other parts go into it as anything else will just seriously increase the reach and cut down on the swing speed. And with this, I want as much swing speed as possible. So that is all that is required to make this weapon. Those are some of the weapons that I wanted to bring to you today to sell, to make XP, or to use in whatever part of the campaign that you like. I hope this helps you out in your campaign going forward. As always, my friends, take care. And thanks for watching.